in this segment we will study indifferent curves. Now what are indifference curves? Indifference curves are curves appearing on a graph which give same utility to the consumer by the combination of two or more products. Now indifference curve theory or the indifference curve analysis was propounded by Hicks and Allen. These were the people who took the initiative from Alfred Marshall forward. Alfred Marshall came out with the marginal utility analysis and Hicks and Allen built it up by coming out with indifference curves. Indifference curves have ordinal measurement or rather indifference curve belong to the ordinal approach of utility analysis. In these we do not measure utility but we rank in the order of utility derived from them. We do not actually measure utility but we only rank them in the order of utility derived from them because we can understand the level of utility derived from different products. So we can rank them but actually measuring them is what is done in the cardinal approach to marginal utility analysis. Indifference curves are also called an iso utility curve. Now these are called as iso utility curves because the curve in its absoluteness gives equal utility. So iso means equal. The whole curve the whole curve gives you a level of equal utility. You derive the same level of satisfaction by whatever combination of commodities you use on the same indifference curve and thus it is called as iso utility curve. The assumptions for indifference curve analysis are the consumer is rational and has full information. The consumer is rational means that the consumer has knowledge, he has information about the product, he has information about the market and he can understand and give a judgment on the product as to how much utility does it give. He will consume that product or that commodity which gives him the highest level of utility. Next is consumer is capable of ranking. Since the consumer is rational, he can give his judgment and judgment will be in the form of ranks. He can rank the products in the order of utility derived from it. Finally, the consumer has consistent consumption pattern. The consumption pattern of the goods should be consistent. The goods more or less should be similar. There should not be many breaks in the consumption. And finally, that the consumption should be during a reasonable period of time. Let's see what is indifference curve. Now in this schedule, we see that there are two products. First is food, second is clothing. In indifference curve analysis, we try to understand the relation between two products and what is the combination of the quantities of two products that the consumer would consume. Now here we have food and clothing. So combination A gives us one quantity of food and 12 units of cloth. Combination B gives us 2 units of food and 6 units of clothing. Combination C gives us 3 units of food and 4 units of clothing. While combination D gives us 4 units of food and 3 units of clothing. Now please remember that in all these combinations, the utility derived by the consumer is same. 
and thus we derive the indifference curve. We try to plot these points on the graph. On the x-axis we have taken food and on the y-axis we have taken clothing. So the first coordinate would be 1 and 12, 1 on x-axis and 12 on y-axis. So we get the point A. Similarly we plot the point B, 2 units of food and 6 units of clothing. Likewise point C, 3 units of food and 4 units of clothing. And finally we plot the point D, 4 units of food and 3 units of clothing and when we join all these points the curve that we get is called the indifference curve. Now why do we call this curve the indifference curve? It is because the consumer would be indifferent. It would not matter to him as to which combination he chooses as to which combination he gets. Why so? Because the utility derived from each of these combinations is equal. So in combination A where he consumes 1 unit of food and 12 unit of clothing the utility will be equal to the combination B where he consumes 2 units of food and 6 units of clothing. Again the utility in both of these combinations will be equal to the utility derived in combination C where he consumes 3 units of food and 4 units of clothing. And finally the combinations and finally the utility derived in all the above combinations will be equal to the combination D where he consumes 4 units of food and 3 units of clothing. So in short utility at A equals to utility at B equals to utility at C equals to utility at D. So utility at all the three points is equal. Thus this curve becomes the indifference curve.